once was the richest and wickedest city in the world get ready because today we are going to tour one of Jamaica's seven wonders welcome to Jamaica attractions no limit and walk with us down history lane as we tour the popular lost village of Port Royal Jamaica get to this village traveling along the Arborview main road from downtown Kingston direction you will turn right at the first roundabout which will bring you along the Palisades main road that is the main road which you drive to go to the normal Manly International Airport upon reaching the first roundabout along the Palisades main road you will take the first left turn and that straight road will take you right into Port Royal village Port Royal, a village located at the mouth of Kingston Harbour in southeastern Jamaica. The village was founded in the year 1494 by the Spanish. It was once the largest city in the Caribbean, functioning as the center of shipping and commerce in the Caribbean Sea by the latter half of the 17th century. So what could have brought down a city like this? Well, the tragic story is that in the year 1692, on the seventh day of June, a devastating earthquake hit the village with an accompanying tsunami, causing a section of the village to sink under the sea and many lost their lives. After the destruction of the city, commercial role was steadily taken over by nearby Kingston. The Port Royal was once home to the privateers. The privateers were sailors of privately owned armed vessels commissioned by a sovereign state to attack enemy ships, usually vessels of commerce, and seize their valuables. The privateers were encouraged to attack Spanish vessels at a time when smaller European nations were unwilling to attack the Spanish directly. When the practice of issuing letters of mark to the privateers against the Spanish treasure fleets and the possession in the latter 16th century had stopped, many of the crews turned to piracy. They continued to use Port Royal as their main base during the 17th century. Pirates from around the world congregated at Port Royal coming from waters as far as Madagascar.
year 1657, as a solution to his defense concerns, Governor Edward D. Oley invited the Brethren of the Coast to come to Port Royal and make it their home port. The Brethren of the Coast were a loose coalition of pirates and privateers, commonly known as buccaneers, and active during the 17th and 18th centuries in the Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean Sea. What you are seeing now is the remaining of Fort Charles and let me give you a little history on that. In the year 1654, Jamaica was under Spanish control and Spain was at war with England. Oliver Cromwell, Lord Protector of England, sent an expedition to invade the Spanish island Hispaniola, that is the island which consists of Haiti and Dominica Republic. When the expedition failed, its leader did not want to return home in shame, so they turned their attention to capture in Jamaica, which was poorly defended at the time. The buccaneer Henry Morgan was a member of the invading force led by William Penn and Venables. By May 1655, the English gained control of the island and began the construction of Fort Cromwell to defend their new acquisition. Fort Cromwell was completed in the year 1655 and was subsequently renamed to Fort Charles. By the year 1667, it had 36 guns, while in the year 1765, it had 104 guns and a garrison of 500 men. It was damaged by both the 1692 Jamaica earthquake and the 1907 Kingston earthquake which later resulted in the tilting of the giddy house which is now a attraction at port royal however we will give you a tour of the giddy house in part two of our tour of port royal In the year 1934, Port Royal is one of the settings for the film Captain Blood starring Errol Flynn. In the year 1942, Port Royal is the main setting for the film The Black Swan starring Tyron Power and George Sanders. In the year 1953, Port Royal is the city beneath the sea in the film of that name. In the year 1995, Port Royal appears in the film Cutthroat Island directed by Rene Arlen. In the year 2003, Port Royal has been featured as a location within Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean film series, though much of the location work for Port Royal was actually done on the island of St. Vincent and not in Jamaica. The remaining section of Port Royal, which is not underwater, is now used as a tourist destination with historic building, fishing village and several other wonderful attractions you can go and explore.
Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for part 2 of this wonderful expedition. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell to get weekly videos from Jamaica Attractions No Limit.